let's begin. We have one and a half shallots that we will be cutting up. I'll also be using three large carrots. Not, hold on, let me just let me do that again. I have one and a half shallots that we'll be using up. And luckily, I already prepped my vegetables. I didn't cut them up though, which was a bad idea. I should have cut them up beforehand because now it's going to waste my time. But I'm, am I speaking too softly? Okay. Um, one and a half shallots. I'll be using one large red chili. This is large. <laughs> um, if you're using small ones, you can use two. I'll be using some green beans as well. Yeah, show sure, yeah. I'll be using some green beans as well. Half a green pepper, some leftover yellow pepper that was in the fridge that I feel like will just add color as well because you know, Shabbat is all about color and three large carrots. So, we're gonna start off with our onion, and with this one, we don't have to cube it, we're gonna be slicing it into slices. We'll also be cutting up the chili one. This one's not that hot, so don't worry about it. And even if it was, it's, it's not your business, mind your business. Slicing this in half to remove the seeds because we don't want it that hot. You know, we want it hot, but like not unbearably hot. Remember this teaspoon? Yes, this teaspoon is going to be our star again. And ensure you wash your hands when you touch chili here. You don't want to look like you have pink eye. And then remove the seeds. <laughs> Okay, and we'll also be adding in thumbnail ginger wow. for some kick. on our pan we just need the small one heating it up and we add in and in goes our shallots our chili and ginger the kitchen is gonna smell really powerful today I'm using the same spoon that I used for the mince because there's no meat here. We're gonna let that brown a bit and then we're gonna add in some oil. In the meantime, we have to grate the carrots. I forgot about the carrots and I have to grate them though. Well. And let's grate the carrots. These carrots are rinsed already and I don't really mind the skin. I mean, unless I'm, I'm using it in a curry or a stew or something, since I'm grating it, I don't see the point of. Um, of peeling it so I won't be peeling my carrots I wash them I scrub them they're clean as you can see I'll just be grating them well I'm gonna eat that don't worry next carrot by the time I'm done grating what aromatics in rather say should have browned and I'll add in some oil and the carrots and our spices We haven't added enough spices yet, remember? 
add them in for me. We're just getting our onions to their thing. And the carrots to cook down a bit. And then, these are some whole cumin seeds that I'll be adding into here, just so that the spice can um, be imbued in the carrots. I should have added this in with uh, the, the chili and the garlic to temper it for, the, for more power, but I forgot, honestly, so I'm going to add it in now, before I add the other spices. This will really up the flavor. Okay. I'm going to increase the heat again. green peas that I already removed the ends off and I'm, I think I'm going to be adding these cutting these in half once the long ones that is and then yeah, as you can see they're also really old so <laughs> I'm trying to use up as much vegetables as I can um, some people don't put green peas in theirs but I figured why not you know you know whatever veggies as long as it's colorful this in half, then I'll be adding that in and I'll also be adding in peppers, so I should also probably cut this as well. But I won't be adding peppers immediately. Like I said, I don't like my peppers mushy. Especially green pepper, it doesn't taste that nice when it's mushy. Be adding in my green pepper. I'm gonna slice this into strips. The green, yellow, the orange, the red from the chilies. The red from the beans we're using this can one can of of cool beans to that i'll be adding in my green peas nothing like about chakalaka is you can make it your own you know you can make it the way that you like to eat it if you like more peppers you can more peppers if you like less carrots you can less carrots if you want a different spice you can use different spices less garlic you can put one teaspoon instead of two or leave it out all together it's up to me i like mine that's with a lot of carrots so depends the many carrots oh, here we have here we have Two teaspoons of masala powder, a teaspoon of cumin and coriander mix, and a teaspoon of black pepper. Um, you can also add curry powder if you like. I think masala powder will be good. Nice. you like I like using this so we'll be adding to that a teaspoon half sorry a half a teaspoon of turmeric for some color a bit of flavor whatever that may be a heaped teaspoon of smoked paprika the rest of our tomato two thirds of tomato <laughs> Sugar, this is a teaspoon. I made it a thin way. A teaspoon of sugar. After mixing that well, I'll be adding in a tea, a tin of tea, a tin of our baked beans. If you have nails, be careful. Easy to open. All of 
it and the sauce. I used to also spill out the sauce, but the sauce adds some flavor. Some really lovely flavor. Other people make this and they use the three bean tin. Other people use chickpeas. I've seen people use chickpeas here. Like a, I think it's a bit unconventional, but hey, whatever floats your boat. Adding in some water. I just put in some, some, a little bit of water into this container. Also to get some flavor out. Loads. Two minutes and then we'll be done. Reduce the heat. In the meantime, I'm going to be clearing up. Well, what are you doing now? I'm just adding in a little bit of chili because it's not as chilly as I want it to be, okay? Okay? Mind your business. It's done. And adjacent to that, we have our chakalaka <coughs> steaming. It's yummy. This is really delicious, guys. Now that I've made my mince and my chakalaka, the only things that are left are the pup and the fat cakes, or as we call them, maguena. Um, I'll be showing you how to make the fat cakes. And that'll be very simple and I can't wait, man. We have some chocolate. And I also made some potato salad because you know at Bride they always have potato salad. So I have some potato salad with some vegan mayo and garlic and herb spice and some corn. Not a lot. And in here we have our mushroom and cream spinach that I made. This is so delicious. I made it with coconut milk and some sauteed mushrooms with onion that I blended. In fact, if you don't know how to make this, just ask and I can show you. This is a simple way to make cream spinach, veganize without any cream. Just use coconut milk and some mushroom cream and yeah, and some mushrooms and it's actually really good. It's really yummy. And here we have our original hot dogs that I will be substituting as my bors, our potato salad, our chakalaka, our cream spinach, and our pup, just like old times. You see, this is a very easy way to veganize your meals. Instead of using dairy mayonnaise, you can use vegan mayonnaise. It's in stores now and very easy to find, even at Food Lovers or Checkers, anywhere you can find it. Our chakalaka is very easy to veganize as well. Um, I feel like originally it's usually vegan unless you use butter or something. And our cream spinach, we didn't use dairy cream, we used coconut cream 
and we made our own mushroom sauce and then we cooked it with the spinach and there we have it your own vegan braai meal that is your meal and i am going to dig in mm. bye